content type is a collection of fields that can be used multiple times to present content of a similar type. A good example would be a news page containing a title, a date, an image and some copy. But it can contain whatever data you like, and that is the beauty of this flexible system. So let's create one. So from our demo site, we go to structure, content types, and that will give us a list of the current types. There's a couple here which I've been experimenting with, ignore those. And we've got the two standard ones, article and basic page, which you get out of the box for Drupal. We click on add content type, we give it a name. In this case, we'll call it news. Give it a description. And set the options for publishing. Uh, we won't publish this or create a new revision. I normally turn off display author and date information, but it's up to you. And the menus that we add it to, it can be added to main navigation. Save that and that will take us to fields. Okay, so we are given a body field by default. We're gonna add two new fields. Click on add field. Select the field type. These are the standard ones that come with Drupal. And we'll call this uh, date published. Uh, we'll only allow one value. You can have unlimited or actually set a limit to the amount of values you can have. Uh, you can also change it to date only or date and time. We'll go with date and time. Save those field settings. We can give it a default date, which will be the current date. And save settings. You might have noticed that I've got a security warning here, which I'll, I'll deal with that in a separate video. So we've now added our date published field. We can add another one for image, which again, we select an image type. Or you can reuse an existing field if you want to. We've actually got one called field image. So let's reuse that and that will use the same label. Save and continue. Now, because it's an image field, there are some extra options. Um, they're pretty much self-explanatory. You can add, set a default Im image. So you could have like a placeholder image if you wanted to. Change the file extensions that are allowed, where the file gets saved, the ma maximum image resolution and the maximum upload size. You probably don't need to do that. Just accept the defaults for now save settings and we now have all of our fields added to our content type so to add a piece of content of type news we go to content add content you'll see that news now appears in that list click on that and we will then see the fields that we have added in the content edition form so we can do test news item test text the date published is already populated, so I'll leave that, but I could change it if I wanted to. And I can choose an image, give it uh, an alternative title, and save it. There you go, that's our new test item, or test news item. This is the text, this is the date published, and this is the image. If we go into the content type and go to news, manage form, display, and manage display, we can change the way that this is um, displayed. So I can put the image at the top, then the date published, then the body text, and save that. If we then view that content that we just created, you'll see those fields are now the other way around. So we've got the image first, the date published, and the text. Okay, that's it for this quick tutorial. Let me know if you want to see more detail, and I'll do a longer version. Thanks very much for watching. See you soon.